Welcome back everybody, Silas here again today, and we are on an adventure in the middle of nowhere. I'm here now loading up this Impala convertible. This is a 66 or 67 Impala SS convertible. I'm loading that up for a friend of mine. I'm going to be taking it to his place, but that's a separate video. While I'm here though to load that up, he said I could check out the rest of the property. There's a bunch of old cars, a bunch of neat stuff here. I have no clue what's here actually. He just kind of told me about it. So uh, I'm going to go through and we're going to check it out together. I drove almost three hours to get here to pick this car up and take it to him. So this is quite a ways away from home. I am middle of nowhere. I'd there's, I think, maybe 50 people that live here. Uh, the post office is a little tiny, probably 15 by 20 building. I mean, it's it's a tiny blip on the map in northern Kansas on the border of Nebraska. But we're going to walk around, check this place out, see what we can find. It says no trespassing. Definitely no trespassing. I have exclusive permission to come in here. I got permission from the owner and from Andy to come into this place and walk around. I'm not supposed to touch anything. I can look it over a little bit, but I can't go in the buildings. I can just look around to see what all's here. I was originally supposed to pick this truck up and I am definitely glad that Andy decided to get that car instead of this truck because I was not looking forward to having to haul that another I think it's about three hours to Andy's house from here so that would have been not a fun drive to haul that it is a cool truck but with my 20 foot trailer I just can't quite get those balanced on the right so I would have had to drive pretty slow I wonder how long these have been sitting this truck was parked in 03 so they've been sitting quite a while old U-Haul truck. Bunches of stuff. These buildings are pretty neat too. We'll go check those buildings out here in a minute. He said I can't go in the buildings because they're starting to fall in. But he said I could walk around them and check them out. What is this? So oh, Mercury Marquee. Growing into the trees. Huh. Well, I guess the trees are growing into it is more accurate. Move in ready. I can live out here. <laughs> oh, they even have an ambulance in case you need to go to the hospital. I wonder if the stuff's still in this. I wonder if the gurney's still in it. It is. No way. Oh, it's locked up, but it's in there. <laughs> oh, that is crazy cool. Check out the wheels and the hubs and stuff on this thing. This is on this camper. I just now noticed this, but check that out. Some sort of air suspension on that. That is far out. Yeah, this ambulance is all locked up, so I can't get inside it, but it still has most of the stuff inside it. That's pretty crazy. Pretty cool stuff right there. I believe the stuff over there is the neighbor's property, so we can't go down there, but I think we can check out this building here. Andy told me I could buy anything I saw here to let him know if I saw anything I can't live without. So I'm on the lookout for cool stuff. Now vehicles, like that ambulance, I'd love to have that just to have out at the junkyard. But I'm not going to drive three hours one direction to load that up and haul it home. It's just, it's not worth it to me. I've got too much other stuff to do. Bunches of old doors. Those are always cool. These aren't real old ones though, so I probably don't need those. I'm going to try to be very picky on anything I do pick out. Just because I don't feel like messing with it today. I've got a lot to do over the next couple days. I'm recording this video, the video of hauling that Impala to Andy of picking up a car at his place. I got two more videos tomorrow. I got a lot going on. So I'm trying to be really, really picky on what I pick out and what I decide I want to do. Here's an old Chevy Nova. I actually had a guy the other day call and say he'll give me 150 bucks for the back seat. Oh, the back seat's already gone. Never mind. I was going to say, I see if I could buy that back seat out of this car. But never mind, it's already gone bunches of scrap iron all through here this is in the middle of nowhere the closest scrap yard is like two hours away if not more and so scrap in this area this part of the country just sits and rots into the ground and eventually at some point in time they'll probably have an auction and they'll be selling cars like this for probably 25 and 50 dollars if nobody else buys them if i was closer i'd haul that car home in a heartbeat for what the guy's asking for this stuff but like i said it's in the middle of nowhere check out this old is this a cranbrook yeah this is a cranbrook What's it say in the front? Something insurance agent. Huh. Still got the visor on the front of it. This is a pretty cool car here. See, now this here is almost worth the drive to come out and get. Almost worth it. Other than it's be kind of hard to get out of here. I gotta have to drive in here, I guess, with a chain and yank it out of the trees. It's kind of rough on this side, but I don't know. I'll think about this one here. Another Chevy 2. No back seat in that one either. That's a two-door hardtop. I just noticed that over there. Nothing left of it, though. Here's an old Ford. What is this? A 58? Thereabouts. I'll check out the old canned ham. 
Look at this old Ford car. You can tell kids have busted windows out of it. Typical old car sitting out in the field in the middle of nowhere. They always get riddled. I'm surprised the back window's still in it. I don't know. I may think about that one. Here's a little foreign car of some sort that's been cut up. Not sure what that was. If you know what this was, let me know in the comments. There's a winner. Old Econoline van. Bunches of random stuff. Here's a couple old trucks. Looks like an old Ford half ton. Looks like a, what is that, a 51? 50 or 51 Ford. Let's check this thing out. Maybe this is the one I want. Full of trash, but let's check out the cab on it. Not too bad up there. Routed out pretty bad down there. Now we're up pretty far north right now. They use a lot of salt in the roads up here. So stuff rusts worse here than it does back at home where I'm from. It's not that far. Like I say, it's only about three hours, but there's a dividing line in there and everything north of that line rusts really bad because of all the salt usage they use. But that's got really good color to it. I kind of like this one here. This might be the one. Kind of the main reason why I want to come back and maybe buy one of these vehicles is because south of here a little ways, there was a place I drove past that has bunches and bunches of some old cars and then some older cars. Mostly it looked like 80s, late 80s and older stuff. I saw some out of the 40s and 50s there too, all lined up in the trees. And I loved, I wrote down the name of the place, so I'd love to try to get in contact with them and maybe come back and film that place too. And it's not that far from here, so if I came back and filmed there, then I could run up here and maybe load up an old vehicle. Don't know if that's going to happen, but maybe it's an idea. If you guys like watching this type of video where I just go out exploring, I'm a long ways from home right now. I'm spending a lot of money on fuel. I'm spending a lot of time. I had to take a day off work. Uh, I'm missing my family for two days so I can go out and make this trip. It, so if you guys enjoy this type of video, please let me know in the comments. Leave a like on this video. That way I know you guys like it and it's actually worth my time to be doing this. I know I absolutely love doing this sort of stuff. I don't do trips this long to look at junk that often just because it is it is a sacrifice and it is expensive to come out here especially with diesel being five dollars a gallon so definitely let me know and definitely please please leave a like leave a like on this video if you enjoy this but anyway if things work out i might be in this area again so maybe i can bring one of these home with me here's an old el camino don't think it's an ss or anything definitely probably worth saving for parts if nothing else and check out this cadillac beside it kind of like a limousine not a full limousine, this is just the extended uh, wheelbase, kind of like a poor man's limousine, I guess you'd call it. These just don't have a whole lot of value to them, these professional cars like this. They're definitely cool, but they just don't have a whole lot of resale. Oh, and check this one out. This is a cool one here. Of course, the tailgate's gone, always gone. This is an old 5-window Econoline. Technically, it has more windows than that, but that's just layman's term. It's got the wraparound windows on it. Still has the hubcaps on it, and I can't believe nobody's busted the windows out of this one. Man, decisions, decisions. I kind of like this one too. I don't know if I like this one or the old Ford dump truck better. I love the color on this thing. Really cool color. I don't know, that might be the one there. I don't know, I'll have to think about it. There ain't no way I could buy two. I mean, I guess I could buy two if I could find someone to come back with me with a trailer, and maybe we could grab two of them at once, but I don't know if that'll ever happen. Rotor tillers and lawn mowers. Scattered all through here. You gotta be careful where you walk. I've tripped several times. There's so much stuff down in the weeds. Look at these little tiny lawnmowers. Little itty bitty things. One there and a couple over here. Kind of cute. This one's kind of neat too. Huh. Don't see anything I can't live without though. I guess this building here used to be an old school building, is what it was a long, 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 long time ago. I don't know what year it was built. I'm sure it was built beginning of the century, last century. Unfortunately, this is why I can't go inside it, as the entire back wall has fallen out completely. It is not a structurally sound building. It is collapsing in. That would be a death trap to try to go in there. And you know, this is one reason why I've started this channel in the first place, a little over a year and a half ago, is stuff like this I don't know how much longer this building is going to be standing, what little of it is still standing. At some point in time, it's going to be completely on the ground, and at some point in time, it's going to be bulldozed and buried. And history like this is disappearing slowly but surely, just like the rainforest. It's disappearing. Don't worry, I'm not going to get on some eco talk, but it's the same thing. People come in and tear it down. Now, stuff like this, you know, honestly, it's cool and all, but really it is a hazard, and it kind of does need torn down. So that's why I'm out here now with my camera, documenting this stuff before it's gone forever posting it on the internet that way other people can see it and appreciate it. 
I love to keep everything. I love if I could save everything. Unfortunately, that's not the way the world works, and so I'm doing the best I can, and I'm preserving the memory of these places. Just gotta think that most of the kids that ever went to this school are probably older than my grandparents if they're even still living. And so there are probably very few people that ever remember what the school was like when it was actually going on. But the least I can do is document it now and show it to the world. Pretty crazy. It would have been really cool to go in there before it collapsed. But as usual, I'm a day late and a dollar short. Of course, the dollar didn't really matter. But the time-wise, I'm sure this building fell in a number of years ago. But some of this tin looks fairly recent. So I'm guessing this probably fell in within the last five years or so. Every farm in existence has a tire pile. Crazy. Here's an old tractor growing up in the trees. What is an old farm mall? I'm sure the radiators are gone out of everything out here. Here's the front of the school. We'll see if we can work our way through here. There's the old radiators that heated it. The old cast iron heat radiators. Work our way through here. A little bit overgrown. Here's the entrance, the sidewalk that led up to the school. You know, it kind of takes on different meaning with school starting right now, but I can just imagine, you know, 70 years ago, a bunch of happy children running up this sidewalk, ready for their first day of school. And they come up here and they come up these steps, walk through the doors, see the teachers smiling, hopefully smiling faces. First day of school. This looks like it was a pretty nice building back when it was new. It's got some pretty fancy architectural design to it. Up at the very top way up there, you can kind of see it's got a little archway thing up there. I don't know if there was a bell up there at one time or what. And this guy didn't make it. Or a girl, I guess. Looks like it was a doe. Didn't make it. There's kind of a better view of the whole building. Pretty good sized building. Looks like it had some big old classrooms on it, so I'm not sure how many are in here. Probably at least, uh, I would say, 8 to 12 classrooms. I could be wrong on that, and obviously I can't check, but I'm sure somebody knows. Random old stuff in here. A wagon of some sort, with an old car frame on top. Not sure what that was. Looks like a blade. Not a whole lot out here in the field. But here's another old, looks like a house. I'm guessing, I don't know what that is. Made out of limestone, that's pretty cool though. You don't see limestone houses that big very often. Try to walk around over here a little bit. And this is the back door of it here. Something just moved. It scared me half to death. It didn't sound small, whatever it was. Here's the remnants of whatever this was. I'm pretty sure it's a house. Yeah, here's the cellar. Obviously, I'm not going to go in there. I promised I wouldn't go inside anything. So we can walk over there closer to it, though, at least. Plus, who knows what sort of critters are down there. I'm sure if anything was good in there, it's long gone anyway. A lot of work to build this old house. But you know this thing will probably be standing for a long, long time. A lot longer than that brick building over there couple more old pickups over here a bunch of Fords they must have liked Fords because most everything out here is a Ford there's a few Chevys and other stuff but bunches of Fords old F-250 I don't know if it's worth the drive or not it looks like there's some more cars back there we'll go check those out in a minute nothing special Chevy Celebrity and a Chrysler what is it LeBaron yeah LeBaron See, anymore when someone calls and they said they got an old car out in the tree row, we used to get excited. But nowadays it's stuff like this, which this car is kind of decent. I don't know. I might be a little bit excited about that. But we buy a lot of quote unquote field cars that are these right here and even newer stuff than that. One time a guy called and said he had an old Chrysler sitting out in the trees, had a tree growing through the bumper, but he was going to drag it in for us. And we said, okay, awesome. He said, what's it worth? And we said, oh, we'll just look at it when you get it here. But, you know, by weight, it's probably at that time, I think it was around $400 or so. And so he said, sounds good to me. He says, I'll bring it in. So I'm all excited, expecting some old Chrysler, hoping it's some, he said it was a big Chrysler, so I thought it was gonna be some big car with big fins on it or something like that. He gets there and it's like a 2007 or 2008 Chrysler 300. And it did, it had a tree growing through the bumper. It had been sitting out the trees for a while. 
had a hemi in it and all that but you win some you lose some here's the other side of that house the roof's still on it actually surprisingly huh pretty neat i'll load that old car up here in a minute but first we're going to check out this old church this is pretty pretty far out right here you don't see stuff like this very often back home another old ford pickup and some little convertible i'm not sure what this is fiat yeah it's a fiat little tiny fiat can you just imagine all the old time services that went on in this place when i look at places like this i just like to imagine the history behind them and i like to imagine what it was like when people went inside and sat down Got the old windows in it still. Wow. Here's the back side. I'm sure this little back porch area was added on at some point through the years. I'm sure the original structure didn't have that. I'm sure when they added that onto the church, they were excited because their congregation was growing. They needed more room. And now it's empty. Kind of sad. Here's a cute little outbuilding of some sort. That's kind of neat. There's another old house over there. It's all falling in. I don't see any cars over there. I, I think it's the same guy who owns that, but I don't know for sure. So I'm just not gonna go over there. I don't see a fence or anything. So I'm thinking that's the same property, but I don't know for sure. And I don't wanna be trespassing. So I'm not going over there. Check this thing out. It's too bad the steeple's not still on it. That would've made a cool picture. Wow. There's a sidewalk running down the front here that runs the entire length of this. Runs from here, down past the house, down to the church, I mean the school. Wow, you can imagine all the happy parishioners coming in on a Sunday morning, ready to have church, see what the Lord has to say. I wonder what year they close this thing down. I tell people I go to church twice on Sunday and Bible study middle of the week on Wednesday and they think I'm crazy. <laughs> they think I go to church too much. But then you got churches like that that everybody thought they were going to church too much and they just quit going and now it's falling in. But I suppose it's about time to load this car up. Before I do that though, I think I'm going to do a flyover with the drone. I brought it with me just in case, and I definitely think a, a drone would be a good thing for this place here. So I want to fly it up in the air, and I'll kind of fly it over the town too so you guys can see just how small this place is. Not much here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Like I said earlier, let me know what your favorite part of this video was. Let me know that you enjoyed this video. That way I'll keep making this type of video. Because if you guys don't like them, I might make one every now and then. But I'm not going to go out of my way to make this type of video. But if you guys like it, I will definitely, definitely find a way to make more of this type of video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. I thank you guys so much for all your support. You guys are what makes this type of stuff possible. I'm out here having fun, sharing it with you 
but I wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you. With that, I'll let you go. As always, I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time. Thank you.